Okay, so I sprayed them with workable fixative by Krylon. It says it protects pet pencil from smudging. So I did that. And I also did it around the edges so um, I wouldn't smudge because I put, and I could have done that with pen, uh, paint, but I didn't. And this is just part of her design. She had you highlight to make it look like a quilt block. So this is how she had it done. This one I did a little differently because my wings were bumping into the blue. So I just put the blue on the side instead and did a gold leafing coat. But here's where we're going to add the details. And it's just little dip dots. So um, nothing fancy or special. I have these little stylus tools that I use to make dots. You can use the end of a brush. And I'm going to start with, we'll start with the butterfly. And I'm just going to kind of follow what I already did. So these dots here, there are some, I'm going to put a little of the warm white out because there are some that are done, most of them are done in the old parchment. So I'm just going to use, I think I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to put the biggest and then I'm going to go smaller. It's kind of big. If I don't push as hard, I can get it a little... I think I'm using too big of the end. Can, can, uh, so and then the middle one is done in white. So I'm gonna, I flipped it and I'm using the even smaller dot. So I'm going to just go all the way down. So that's what that looks like. See the difference it makes as soon as you add the dots. OMG. So I'm just going to, since I have white paint, I'm going to do the center one first. Just pull the paint off of it and go into that old parchment color. I'll come in a little bit. I don't want to come out of the shot, but it you really can see pretty good when I zoom in. I've had this camera for a while now. This is a Canon Vixia camcorder. A lot of people are using their iPhones to do, well I gotta make sure I don't put my finger in the dots over there, to do videos for YouTube and um, I have tried that but um, I like my Canon Vixia. Alright, I'm gonna go to like a little bit of a bigger dot and I'm gonna put some of the base color and I'm using black cherry and I'm just gonna go big, medium, small. And then there's a bunch on the um, butterfly, which I'm going to just kind of not get crazy with it. Um, I think I'm going to go with two big ones, like one here and one here. I'm going to put a big gem there, so a little one here. I think I'll just put three on each of those areas because I'm going to put a gem, a little crystal in the middle. like in between, in that wider part. And then where else? There are dots, uh, I think that's it. Oh, 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 there's some, I'm gonna turn, I don't wanna use this big dot. I'm gonna put a couple on here. Like here and here. Like three on that little section. One, two, three. And that's it. The rest is going to be bling. So I think the butterfly... Oh, wait, one more thing. So this is where I'm going to be able to pop up the highlights on those, uh, the antenna. I'm just going to use my liner brush, a really fine liner, and try not to put my finger in all the dots I just made. And make little highlights here. See how it kind of makes it look like it crossed over? And then just put a little here, like a little comma. Um, and then I can do that here too. I always turn my piece to get the best angle. And 
think that's it. And I'm literally just looking at my other one to see if I'm missing anything. I think that's it for any extra little doodahs. I love them so much. The color just pops. All right, so I'm going to set that aside and pull him in. <coughs> I might as well do that. While I have my brush, I'll just do the same thing on these little antennas. They get a little, like, line, highlight line. And then on these little tenderly things right here. Just make some pop out a little. I think that's it for that and then there's just a few dots these are the these are the biggest um, thing so I, I'm going with it's a decent size and this is yellow ochre and I'm gonna just start dotting and I want to graduate so big medium little I don't want them all to be the same size. I think that looks good. Um, so now there's some teeny tiny little ones on that blue wing and I already mixed up a little of the like a light blue color. I hope this shows up. It should kind of be the color of the highlight. If it's not bright enough I'll brighten it up. I think you can see it. Very subtle. As you get up into the lighter area, it doesn't show up as much. Maybe I'll just do white. I don't know. I don't hate it, but it's very bright. I guess if I put white somewhere else, now there's going to be gems, so eh, blue probably would have been better. And I think that's it. Oh, no, no. There are some darker color dots on these white. Uh, let's see. I'll do this. I'm sorry, not on this yellow. I think that's it. Oh, there's actually tiny little ones in the same color on the blue stem. All of this just adds more interest. I love it. I think it looks fantastic. I'm so, I love these pieces so much. All right. Um, just going to let it dry and then I'm going to varnish and then I'll show you how I adhere the bling. So, I'll be back. All right, this is it. I'm a little disappointed, if I'm honest, because these are just wonky. They're not sitting right on here. I don't know. I haven't varnished the bottom of the box yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might just leave it the brown. It seems like it needs to have something, but it actually doesn't, so I might just leave it like that. You know, I mean, it's it's a lot of work for a little paper box. So maybe I'll look for some wooden ones that are um, reasonably priced. But, like, it's just, see how this is, you can tell it's kind of like, it's going like that. And then the lid, it doesn't really f sit right. It's like, eh, it's on there. All right. <clears throat> and they're looking really shiny. For some reason because it is a matte varnish that I used I don't know all right these are the gems and these are like I said they uh, actually are on sale at how although it's today is Saturday and I don't know when their sales run the ones at Michaels were not on sale when I got them and I had marked the bottom these were clear crystals size 6 8 and 10 
but I, I put in here some 7, 9, and 11. I don't know, but they're all different variant variation in size. These are a color, and they're AB, so they're gorgeous. Look at the bling. Um, but there's, it's like a golden color, so I'm going to put that right on his head, right on this butterfly's head. And this is just a little squirt bottle that I have. I use a tiny, let's see, there's a little, uh, I have a, cute, a toothpick here. I'm just going to, uh-oh, don't break. Okay. All right, much better. And I literally just get a, it to start coming out. And then I get like the tiniest little, oh, and then I have one of these things. This is really a good tool to have if you're going to be working with gems. And it is right here. I think it's called a katana. Yeah, the katana. And the crystal katana. And they do have this at, they, they can be like $20. So, but I don't know. It has just some type of like wax on the tip of it. I don't know. All right, but it is good for... You can flip the the bling over and you can pick it up with the this end of it. So first let me put a little dot, a tiny dot. Whoa, that's way too much. <laughs> Sorry, I panicked. Uh, as soon as I see it starting to come out, I stop squeezing and just, like, it is a minute amount of, uh, okay. <laughs> But I'm, I just picked it up, and I just put it right on top of that little dauble of glue. A dauble. Just a dauble, do ya? And I just centered Oop, now I uncentered it. Come on. Then I push down. And that's it. And that will adhere. I mean, these are on there. And I do like the idea of putting them all the way down the body of the dragonfly. I'm going to put one on the head of the dragonfly too, um, but, oh see, if, if I squeeze too hard, a big dobble will come out. Um, but these are kind of cheesy and I'm a little disappointed in the box quality, so I don't know if I want to waste all these beautiful blings on kind of a crappy substrate, you know what I'm saying? I did put all that work into it. That being said, this is just super fun, and it, man, it just jazzes it up. So I'm definitely going to put them in these two, so I'm going to put little kind of small ones. I think these two look good. Some are clear, and some are, um, but they're all AB, meaning Aurora Borealis, so they have like a See, this is clear and that's clear so I'm going to use both of those this is kind of has a golden uh, so in other words uh, it it has sometimes the Borealis has like its own little sparkle to it this doesn't have any I don't think it's just a plain one so I put it in the center maybe I won't go crazy with these you know, just put a few. It's hard to resist. And maybe a couple in the centers. Maybe one, two, three. I think that's all I need. So I'll put this one up here. See, the katana can pick it up and you can place it right where you want it. And the glue will dry clear. Oh, I was going to put them here. One, two. And then here. I probably put too many. Um, I think I'm going to need... This one has tiny little crystals. Tiny. I mean, really small. I don't even know if I've ever seen anything as small. That one and this one are so tiny. I'll show you. This goes right there. And this is upside down, but I will flip it over. Hi, Jen. Put 
probably shouldn't put your glue down until you have everything ready to go. There we go. And how about these are, I think they're size 10s, but uh, I have a lot of them. So I'll put two of these. These are just clear. One there. And then I have two more. Uh, I don't think I can pick them up from this craft mat. This is, yeah, it's too squishy. This is like a, um, a beading, a bead, it's for beads. That doesn't seem clear. See, now that I've mixed all these in together, and it doesn't matter what, this is this, this is where I get a little perfection-y. Because who's, when are the crystal police going to come and say, aha, well, that is not clear. See, that's definitely clear. Right there. And then this one is clear. So I think I have them all on there. I think that might be plenty. Wow, that looks so cute. So it's just on the edges, the middle, uh, and these two. All right, you guys, that was it, the whole process. And I wanted to share that with you because I've been enjoying it and um, Erica Joanne, thank you so much for your wonderful designs. I have been having so much fun. Until next time, YouTube, have a grateful day. Thanks for watching.